It's the Big Zero event at Greenville Toyota. Put zero down on new Toyotas. Corollas, $14,999 or $149 a month. Camrys, $19,999 or $169 a month at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. Don't miss the action when the Pirates take the court for a doubleheader on Saturday, February 3rd. The men's team will look to tame the Tigers of Memphis at 2 p.m., followed by the women who will tip off against the Mustangs of SMU at 5. Be among the loyal and bold by purchasing your tickets over the phone at 800-DIAL-ECU or online at ecupirates.com. Be sure to paint Minji's purple on Saturday the 3rd, starting at 2, to show your support for Pirate Basketball. We're celebrating our second anniversary here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, and we're just so glad to be here in Washington. Washington is a very special place, and we really enjoy working here, serving people, making sure our customers get nothing but the best. Here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, we offer a great selection of new vehicles and the best buying experience anywhere. Come see all of us here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Drive a little to save a lot. Time with your family and time to yourself. Good things happen early. When it comes to cancer care, the earlier the better. Early cancer screening and treatment can save your life and the lives of those you love. Believe in the power of early. Believe in the power of Vident Cancer Care. Talk to your doctor about screenings that are right for you. We're starting the new year with zero down on every vehicle. It's Greenville Toyota's Big Zero event, where you put zero down and make zero first payment or get 0% financing for 60 months. Plus, get our advantage at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. Welcome in to Talk of the Town with Henry Hinton. People say I am the best boss. They go, God, we've never worked in a place like this before. You're hilarious. Use weather, sports, and of course, all the local info you need to start your day. I think that pretty much sums it up. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Catch Talk of the Town live on 103.7 WTIB and 94.1 WNBU. What? Cable 7 in Greenville and worldwide at WTIBFM.com. Brought to you by Massey Toyota and Kinston. Experience the Massey difference at 1 800 U Massey and MasseyToyota.com. Now, here's the host for Talk of the Town, Henry Hinton. Eight minutes after uh, eight o'clock, it is uh, Talk of the Town, uh, Tuesday morning, January 30th. McGee's at the sports desk, Engelbrecht's at the news desk. Michael Busimi is producing this morning. Michael, you have someone new in the uh, control room this morning. We have a new ECU intern. Uh, shadow person today. Sh uh, Jessica, are you? Is it Jessica? Yes. Jessica, are you shadowing Michael? Well, I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'm not sure I should. Uh, say whatever. Yeah. Jessica, good morning. Are you? Uh, you're a student of the ECU. Yeah, yeah. I am. It's nice to have. Where are you from? Where are you from? <laughs> um, I'm from like all different parts of Pennsylvania. I've been to Smicksburg, Blairsville, just ah. uh, Indiana, a bunch of. Bunch of places. So what what year are you at ECU? Uh, I am a super senior. <laughs> super senior. Super. Nice. Yeah. I, didn't even, I, didn't, I didn't know year. what that meant. What's your uh, What's your degree? Well, you, you you're just in your fifth year. You got two or three more to go. Um, I have a <laughs> I have a year of internship left to do. Yeah. But other than that, I'm just kind of getting rid of the rest of my classes. 
Well, it's nice to have you here this morning. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Good to see you. I always love it when the ECU students are in here. That's one of the great things about being in Greenville. We have an opportunity to, uh, to, to uh, have some of the young folks from the university in here who want to learn from time to time, even though learning from Michael might not be the best idea, but whatever. No, hey, Actually, it's hey, not hey, true, Michael. Hey, hey, I have graduated how many kids to ITN? Exactly. Yeah, that's what I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, so you trade up another one. So, uh, that's right. So Engelbrecht and uh, – What? And, and yeah, the, the Gentner, Gentner can hire them over there. I got that, yeah. I, I got that ITN slush fund. Don't, don't, don't tell anybody about them, okay? Speaking of slush fund. Uh-oh. I'm going to get to the very latest on the pipeline deal here in a minute, but uh, – uh, thanks to uh, Mayor uh, Dana Outlaw from Newburn for being on last hour. The uh, accolades continue to come in for uh, Greg Smith, who died yesterday, who uh, ran Mitchell's Hardware. Uh, my friend Ray Franks, who, of course, was the top executive for the Boy Scouts of America uh, here in eastern North Carolina, said uh, Greg was a dedicated East Carolina Council Boy Scout professional. I'm glad I had the opportunity to work with him. He followed me as the district executive in Roanoke Rapids. Then he followed me as program director at Bonner and finally as assistant OA advisor. He always made my task easier by being part of the team. I always went by Mitchell's when I was in Newburn, shared a few memories, and usually found something to buy in the store. Sorry he was taken too soon. I'll miss his smile. He always had something going on that would be a morale lifter. Uh, that's, what, uh, that's what everybody says about Greg Smith. So we lost a uh, lost a true champion here at Eastern North Carolina yesterday in Greg Smith. I met Greg a couple of times. I, I I did not know him well, but I I remember his smile and I remember his effervescence. You know, he just had that radiance and uh, po- you know just re- he just radiated positivity. Which you know I love people like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. I love people like that. I, I had a young man wait on me at a restaurant this weekend that did that. You know, don't you love it when a when a when you have a waiter or a waitress that's just very positive and you know oh, yeah. whatever you want, they're mm-hmm. like and they and they're checking on you constantly and all that. And then you get the waiter who you know just doesn't give a crap. Right. <laughs> uh huh. And I, I remember uh thinking to myself, this young man's gonna, you know, if if he really is as positive and as cheerful as he seems, what a great person he would be to get to know. <laughs> yeah. And and uh, you know and he probably will accomplish great things in his life, but you know too often you get- too often we see people who just have that snarl on their face and you know are mad all the time and I don't want to be here. Well, I've got it on my quit. desk. I've got it on my desk. I've had it on my desk since I was in my twenties. What I will be is up to me. Right. And if you take that attitude, True. and it's not True. other people's fault, it's your, you know, and that's the kind of guy Greg was. So, God bless him. Mm-hmm. Uh, Thirteen after, um, more fallout in Raleigh. Although the News and Observer continues to ignore, I, I just think it's amazing that the News and Observer is ignoring the story about the pipeline. So, um, this memorandum of understanding we talked about yesterday was hammered out between Roy Cooper and the uh, Atlantic Pipeline. Atlantic Coast Pipeline, the natural gas pipeline that's coming out of uh, West Virginia down to the North Carolina, South Carolina border. Um, Permits are now being issued by the Department of Environmental Quality, which is controlled by Cooper. He was holding them up. And so the deal's announced Friday, and and when uh, Carolina Journal, Rick Henderson and his folks dug into the memorandum of understanding, they found a $58 million payoff for the projects that the governor wants and the governor will control, which is unprecedented, by the way, and in exchange, the operators get to build this multi-billion dollar pipeline across North Carolina. So, you know, I asked, if you remember yesterday, I asked Rick, what, you know, what the, is the legislature involved in this? What, did they, what do they know and when did they know it and all that? And he said, we're going to find that out today. So here's what we found out. The uh, Speaker of the House's office says that they are reviewing details of the agreement with their fiscal research division in the Office of State Budget Management. What does that tell you? They knew nothing about it. So Tim Moore, the Speaker of the House, was obviously caught off guard. 
Uh, Joe Kaiser, who is a spokesman for the Speaker's office, said we learned of the fund on Friday. So the Speaker of the House didn't know about this until Friday. He says we will have comment after we receive additional information. So the Speaker of the House is doing what we're doing right now. He's trying to find out what kind (laughs) of a deal the governor made. I mean, this is crazy. Phil Berger, president of the Senate said that uh, he, her, uh, uh, Senator Berger's spokesperson, Shelly Carver, who I know well, said that, that Berger's office is looking into it. So you know, now we know that the governor cut this deal without any involvement from the legislature. Yesterday, some people in Raleigh with a pretty good knowledge of the state constitution are saying that this, could, this deal could actually be illegal. Skip Stam, who's a Wake County attorney, uh, who was former North Carolina House Majority Leader, says this deal violates the state constitution, would take away the rights of North Carolinians to challenge terms of the agreement in court. Now, in contrast, Jerry Cohen, the General Assembly's former special counsel, said the agreement seems unusual because it didn't go through normal channels, but he thinks it would survive a possible legal challenge. Um, but, um, Skip Stamp says the governor is simply playing word games with this memorandum of understanding just because the governor says it's not a settlement does not mean that he has the authority to do this and that it's not a settlement. Stamp said reading from Carolina journal this morning, the developers are not paying for land to take the pipeline, in which case money would go to the landowners. Rather, the governor is saying developers are paying because the pipeline will impact the land during construction and limit its use when the pipeline is operating. So Joe Coletti, a senior fellow at the John Locke Foundation, calls this whole thing, and again, This is Joe Coletti, who used to work for the governor's state budget office management division. He calls this, quote, unquote, extortion. He said the payment was made under threat to move the project forward. The structure of the deal seems designed to skirt the constitutional requirement for the General Assembly to approve the raising and spending of funds. An escrow account approved by the governor with expenditures tied to the governor's wishes is not in keeping with the spirit of the law or the Constitution. So you want to know what the General Assembly thinks about this deal? They didn't know about the deal. Speaker of the House didn't know about the deal. President Berger, uh, President Pro Tem of the Senate, uh, Phil Berger didn't know about the deal. This was the governor telling Dominion Power and Duke Power, if you're going to build this pipeline in North Carolina, I want $58 million from you. That's exactly, I mean, and I, it, there's no other way to put it. That's what it, that's what it happened. So Rick Henderson, the editor of Carolina Journal, who broke this story on TV last night all over the state, here's some comments he made last night on Spectrum News uh, on a program called Reporter Roundtable. Here's the very latest comments from Rick Henderson last night. There's a question about whether or not that's actually constitutional because what happened was as a condition of getting the pipeline approved, uh, the companies involved are giving the governor $58 million to essentially spend however he wants to. And there are some questions about whether or not you can do that legally because after all, if this is a settlement then the money's supposed to go to the school systems, as with a fine also, and the General Assembly didn't have anything to do with this deal whatsoever. So, I mean, I'm just, I'm dumbfounded by that. Where is the News and Observer? Can you imagine if this had been Pat McCrory? Can you imagine if the, I mean, the governor has cut an extortion deal with a pipeline to build a pipeline in the state of North Carolina. The Speaker of the House knew nothing about it. The president of the Senate, the, the legislature, clearly at this point, it's clear they knew nothing about it. And so, you know, I, I would ask the question, for the next company that wants to come into North Carolina and do business, is the governor going to say, well, you can only do this if you pay me this much money? I would imagine. Now, now you- again, I'm not saying it's going into Cooper's pocket or into his campaign funds, 
But, I mean, let, let me tell you something. We've seen it with Golden Leaf. We've seen it with all of these quote-unquote funds that politicians have access to with no oversight. It'll turn into a slush fund. It'll turn into, well, if you do this, I'll do that. Or, you know, maybe there's a, uh, a Democratic uh, senator that needs help in his district, so he'll get uh, a couple of million dollars for a new project down there. And then he can run around and tell all the voters, look what I did. I talked to the governor to give me $2 million of this uh, pipeline money. You know that's what will happen to this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So I'm telling you, at some point, this is going to be a scarlet letter. <laughs> He's going to have a big P for pipeline on his head. Hmm. An update on flakage. <laughs> visual, flakage. visual confirmation on flakage in Tarboro at this moment. Nice. Flakage alert. Yeah, I was just looking outside. Flakage alert. There's some indications that it's cold enough to support some flakes. So we've got some flakes in Tarboro. If you're seeing flakes, call us at 561 8255. got a confirmation. Um, flakage pretty hard north of Bethel on NC 11 at US 264. Bethel. Okay, so freezing lines, mm. northern Pitt County, Tarboro. Okay. Hashtag flakage. Uh, Where was this? This was just north of Bethel. North so that's kind of up around Tarboro also. Williams Not too far. Williamston might be seeing some flakes here in the next couple minutes or so. Yeah. The ratings for the Grammys from Sunday night are in. They can't be good. 24% down from last year. When are the, uh, speaking of flakage, when are the snowflakes <laughs> in Hollywood and the music industry going to learn that, you know, people want the music? It's just like Nikki Haley said. Do you see what Nikki Haley said yesterday? No. Mm -mm. Nikki Haley, uh, the, uh, she's the uh, ambassador to the United Nations, for, for former South. She, she basically was saying, you know, I love the Grammys. I love the music. I love to watch her perform, but I don't tune in to watch the politics. What was it Laura Ingram wrote in her book one time, Shut Up and Sing? <laughs> <laughs> she said she was talking about Barbara Streisand, yeah. Shut uh, Up and Sing. Yeah. Yeah. So all of these political comments. Um, I it, mean, it wasn't just the, the comments this time. Around. I, I didn't think the performances were that good. Well, here, let me, uh, news bulletin, today's music sucks. That too? I'm, I'm just telling you, you know. Well, Bruno Today's Mars would have been good with so, Bruno Mars by himself, not with Cardi I mean, B. Look, okay, let me name all the great artists that are out there right now. Number one, there's Bruno Mars. Number two, there's not anybody else. I mean, Bruno Mars is the only person out there making any decent music right now. There's nobody else. All of it's a bunch of crap. Bruno Mars is the real deal. He is the real deal. There's no doubt about it. Um. Carlton has texted me and said flakage near D.H. Conley. And Scott Shook just texted me and just said flakage. See, that could mean a lot of different things with Shook. Yes, it Why could. Why would you? That is was that, such a good term, and now it's that, just going to be <laughs> muddied with Jason. Confusion. Jason has hit me on Messenger saying rain in Williamston. Rain in Williamston. Okay. Let's go to Randy in Newburn. Good morning. Randy, are you calling about flakage or are you calling about snowflakes on the Grammys? Oh, Calling about flakage in Gatesville, North Carolina. Oh, you're in Gatesville. Gatesville. I thought it was yes, Randy in Newburn. Randy in mm. Gatesville. Gatesville, yes. God's country. Is it? You got flakage? Yes, sir. Flakage. How much? It's pretty heavy. It's not sticking across the grain, but. Oh, I can tell he's in Gatesville. You know why? Because he Accent. said it's not sticking on the ground. Mm hmm. <laughs> I've told you that story, Randy, before, but I grew up up there saying, and I was in, I was in a speech class at ECU, and I said something about out or about or something like that, and, mm -hmm. and my speech teacher said, say this for me. I said, well, you round about the house. I said, round about the house. <laughs> and, and yes, she, sir. And she said, oh, Mr. Hinton, that's very charming. Lose it. Lose it. <laughs> but see, I, I like it, man, because that means that, when I hear it, I know it's somebody from home. Right. I used to bird hunt with your dad. Oh, did you really? Yes, sir. 
If you're alive and you live in Showwater Gates County, you used to bird hunt with my dad. <laughs> my dad was <laughs> my daddy was the best quail hunter that God ever put on the planet. Yep. I Can you confirm that? I mean, he could he could knock a bird. I mean, you know what? It was um he just shot he shot quail on reflex. He was so good. Yes, sir. He was the best I ever saw, even though he was my daddy. But uh, the other thing yeah, was, I, if you were hunting with him and the birds were flying at you, you had to hit the ground. <laughs> 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 Randy, what's your last name? Lowe. Randy Lowe. Thank you for calling, man. All right. Thank hey, you. Y'all, y'all going to get your sheriff's department straight up there in Gates County? <laughs> yes, I think they're still working on it. That's a bad deal, isn't it? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, Randy. Randy took the high road with that. that Jimmy, counter. good morning. Where are you calling from, Jimmy? Harrellsville. Harrellsville. That's up near a Husky, right? That's right. That's All right. right. You got flakage? Oh, yeah. Well, we had flakage about 30 minutes ago. Now we're switching over to rainish flakage. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, this has gotten away There's a new us. one. Engelbrecht, tonight on the 6 o'clock news, I want you to use that term, rainish right. flakage. What time? 6 like o'clock it. or 11? No, 6 o'clock. 6, six o'clock? 6. Right. Yeah. Six o'clock. Tune in tonight at 6. <laughs> you have coined a new meteorological phrase. <laughs> rainish flakage. Oh, what have we done? <laughs> <laughs> put that back in All right, be, is, are the roads okay up there? Is it dangerous? No, sir. It's, it's just wet. It's All just right. wet. It, it's not sticking. Be careful in Harold's, <laughs> Harold'sville. I saw you guys at the home show. Which one? Last year? The, yes, sir. At the convention center. Yeah. I brought I brought the peanuts. Oh yeah, I remember you. Yeah, man. You going to yes. come back this year? March third. Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. We'd love to see you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. All right. Talk to you later, Jeff in Harold'sville. Nice. 27 after, and the uh, and thanks for mentioning the home show because the uh, mm-hmm. 2018 Greenville Home and Living Expo March the 3rd, Greenville Convention Center. And, uh, and by the way, uh, the, the prize package has been announced. I'm glad he brought this up because it reminds me that Hank wanted me to do this today. And let me tell you what uh, you can win this year at the Home and Living Expo. Uh, a $10,000 backyard makeover. What? Come on now. That's what I'm talking Come about. Come on now. Uh, you're going to get, uh, you, you, if you win, you'll get a 10 by 10 stone patio built by Slade Landscaping, nice. patio furniture, outdoor carpet, and a Traeger grill, courtesy of Greenville Appliance and Mattress, a 43 inch TV outdoor speakers and installation, courtesy of uh, Jason Pear, Pear Electronics. One month rental of a Stallings uh, mobile storage unit, a new granite countertop and installation by CNC Stoneworks, also thousands of dollars of prizes given away on stage throughout the day, local chef presentations, free food samples, a beer and wine garden, free tastings, several chances to win great prizes at the top of every hour. It's Saturday, March 3rd at the Greenville Convention Center. It's the 2018 Greenville Home and Living Show. Uh, presented by Brighton's Home Improvement and Garris Evans Lumber Company. Call uh, 355-1037. If you want to get an expo booth, call us today, 355-1037. Easy to remember. And we'll get you information about this year's expo. It's going to be uh, the best ever. Economy's good. People spending Mm -hmm. money. Indeed. So get a booth and be part of the home show this year. All right, 29 after uh, 9 o'clock, after 8 o'clock, rather. We'll be right back with more Talk of the Town. Stay with us. It's the Big Zero event at Greenville Toyota. Put zero down on new Toyotas. Corollas, $14,999 or $149 a month. Camrys, $19,999 or $169 a month at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money.
don't miss the action when the Pirates take the court for a doubleheader on Saturday, February 3rd. The men's team will look to tame the Tigers of Memphis at 2 p.m., followed by the women who will tip off against the Mustangs of SMU at 5. Be among the loyal and bold by purchasing your tickets over the phone at 800-DIAL-ECU or online at ecupirates.com. Be sure to paint Minji's purple on Saturday the 3rd, starting at 2, to show your support for Pirate Basketball. We're celebrating our second anniversary here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, and we're just so glad to be here in Washington. Washington is a very special place, and we really enjoy working here, serving people, making sure our customers get nothing but the best. Here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, we offer a great selection of new vehicles and the best buying experience anywhere. Come see all of us here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Drive a little to save a lot. time with your family, and time to yourself. Good things happen early. When it comes to cancer care, the earlier the better. Early cancer screening and treatment can save your life and the lives of those you love. Believe in the power of early. Believe in the power of Vident Cancer Care. Talk to your doctor about screenings that are right for you. We're starting the new year with zero down on every vehicle. It's Greenville Toyota's Big Zero event, where you put zero down and make zero first payment or get 0% financing for 60 months. Plus, get our advantage at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. This is your WITN Morning News Update on 103.7 WTIB and 94.1 WNBU. Good morning. Time now on this Tuesday, 8.32. We have had some reports of flakage through eastern North Carolina. Snowflakes here and there. For the most part, though, just uh, cold rain moving through east North Carolina. We'll double-check that weather forecast for you here in just a sec. The latest news headlines for... And the latest news headlines from WI10WI10.com. Uh, I'm Andy Gobrak. Start off in Onslow County. Onslow County Schools will hold a special meeting later on tonight for parents and students to discuss upcoming redistricting. The meeting will allow school system officials to meet with parents of students who will attend the New Richlands Elementary School in Steeds Park. A school is set to open in August after the Onslow County Schools Board of Education voted to transition Richlands Elementary School and Richlands Primary School to better serve kindergarten through fifth grade students. A change requires two separate districts within the area. Officials have received a realignment proposal from staff, which they say will provide uh, continual uh, instruction, uh, instructional services from one grade level to the next, shorten many bus routes, and balance the student population at each school in accordance with state statutes. Before making the final decision, Onslow County School officials are looking for input from parents and families affected. The meeting is scheduled for 6 p.m. tonight in the multi-purpose room at Richlands Primary School. And we've had uh, a new, uh, we, we've had uh, some traffic alerts here and there. A new bridge is open in Beaufort, but that's also backed some things up as they continue to finish that project. A town of Beaufort is working with the DOT to mitigate traffic backs up, backups at the intersection of Live Oak, NC 101, and US 70. According to a spokesperson with the town of Beaufort, a number of changes are being implemented. Uh, you can see the full list over on WI10.com. All of the projects are expected to be done by the end of today. So hopefully the traffic problems won't be uh, that bad going forward. And finally, in Lenore County, one of nine suspects in connection with a 2015 murder in Kinson has been found guilty. A jury in Lenore County found uh, Johnny Ray Sanders guilty of first-degree murder, robbery with a dangerous weapon, and felony conspiracy in the July 2015 death of 71-year-old Jack Davis. Sanders was sentenced to life imprisonment. Sanders is the first defendant to be tried for the murder of Davis. Two other suspects have pleaded guilty to the second-degree murder and a third to armed robbery. They're all waiting sentencing. Five others face charges, including conspiracy and accessory after the fact. Those are Lace News headlines from WA10WA10.com. The time now on this Tuesday, 8.34. I'm Manning Gabrak.
Breezy and colder for your Tuesday with highs in the low 40s. A stray morning sprinkler flurry as we've seen so far is possible for today. Tonight, clear and cold, dry with lows in the lower 30s for your Wednesday chilly. And sunny with highs in the low 40s for tomorrow. Lows tomorrow night will be around 31 degrees. And for your Thursday sunshine is once again in the forecast, warming up to a high of 59 and lows in the low 40s. Right now it's 36 degrees in Greenville, 38 in New Bern. All right, News and Weather Service this hour of Advanced Moving and Storage. Eastern North Carolina's uh, Moving and Relocation Service. Been doing it here in Eastern Carolina for more than 20 years. Uh, they're fully licensed and insured ready to take care of all your moving needs, whether it's your apartment, your home, or business. Advanced Moving and Storage can take care of you no matter whether it's big or small. And I'll tell you, they've done a great job for me over the years. I've used Advanced Moving. My buddy Linda Bunch owns uh, Advanced Movers, and she does a terrific job. And they also have the uh, Loose Goose, of course, the antique shop out there, also on Four Lines Road, 241 Four Lines Road, just down from the Harley-Davidson store. Huge variety of vintage furniture and collectibles. If you haven't checked out the Loose Goose for uh, antiques and great gift ideas, you need to do that. You can learn more at advancedmoversnc.com if you need uh, to move something. Or you can check out uh, the antique store on uh, looseegooseantiques.com. Thanks to Advanced Moving and Storage for being a longtime sponsor and friend of Talk of the Town. And you'll see them. At the 2018 Home and Living Expo, Linda will have a booth there again this year. So uh, we hope you'll come out and be a part of that on March the 3rd at the Convention Center. 8.36, 24 in front of 9 o'clock. Let's find out what's happening with uh, the Turnage Theater Group. We come back. The uh, Beaufort Arts Council has uh, got some great things happening. Deborah Torrance will tell us about it right after this break. Happy New Year from all of us here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. It's time for tremendous New Year savings on remaining 2017 Ram 1500s at the Start Something New event. Get up to $14,000 in total savings on select Ram 1500 trucks. That's up to $14,000 in total savings on new Rams. Hurry in before they're all gone. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. U.S. Cellular put towers where most others don't. So people can schedule a chiropractor visit out here. Or catch the game live way over here. Isn't that what you pay for? A stronger signal in the middle of anywhere. Visit Real Wireless, your local U.S. Cellular authorized agent in Ohoski, Williamston, and Windsor for the best deals in wireless and great service on a network that works in the middle of anywhere. Time with your family and time to yourself. Good things happen early. When it comes to cancer care, the earlier the better. Early cancer screening and treatment can save your life and the lives of those you love. Believe in the power of early. Believe in the power of Vident Cancer Care. Talk to your doctor about screenings that are right for you. We're celebrating our second anniversary here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. And we're just so glad to be here in Washington. Washington is a very special place and we really enjoy working here, serving people, making sure our customers get nothing but the best. Here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, we offer a great selection of new vehicles and the best buying experience anywhere. Come see all of us here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Drive a little to save a lot. Don't miss the action when the Pirates take the court for a doubleheader on Saturday, February 3rd. The men's team will look to tame the Tigers of Memphis at 2 p.m., followed by the women who will tip off against the Mustangs of SMU at 5. Be among the loyal and bold by purchasing your tickets over the phone at 800-DIAL-ECU or online at ecupirates.com. Be sure to paint Minji's purple on Saturday the 3rd, starting at 2, to show your support for Pirate Basketball.
Talk of the Town at uh, 839. Welcome back. Good to have you here this uh, Tuesday morning, January the 3rd. Is still some reports of flakage. My mom called during the commercial <laughs> break. And we do have reports of flakage on the Chowan Gates County line as well. So that area of the state's getting a little uh, flakage right now. Deborah Torrance is in here this morning. She just drove over from Washington. She's with the Arch of the Pamlico and uh, the Turnage Theater. Did you see any flakage? I did. Did you? I did. Yeah, but once it hit the um, windshield, it was gone. So, so. Yeah, which is which is what Matt predicted. Yeah. How you doing? I'm well. What's I'm going well. on at the uh, Turnage Theater? A lot of things happening first uh, the year. Uh, tell us what's happening. What's the sure, latest? Sure, sure. So we um, just finished up our Hollywood red carpet gala. Um, we had 250 people at the Civic Center dancing the night away. It was wonderful. Nice. Yeah. And Where do you dance in there? Oh, in the uh, Civic Center. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not in the turnage. Well, we have a dance floor actually in front of the stage at the turnage, yeah. but not for 250 people. Yeah, yeah. So that was that was a lot of fun. Was Lots that a of glitz and bling. It was. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll do it again did, next year. Did, did Mayor Bear wear a tuxedo? He didn't. No, but yeah. he was there in his finery, and so is his <laughs> wife Lou. It was wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> All so, right. Yeah. So what's what's happening? What's what's upcoming? So we've got a lot happening actually. Um, starting on Saturday, we have our first poet laureate uh, competition that the Pamlico Writers Group, which is an affiliate under the Arts of the Pamlico, will be hosting. So come out for that. It's going to be wonderful. Um, and we've got several things happening with ECU at the theater um, this month, including a school for the uh, theater of youth. We'll be uh, performing Mischief Makers this month. Um, the School of Theater and Dance will have a jazz dance performance on Sunday, February uh, 11th. Boy, those guys are good. They really are. They really you talk are. talk about great jazz music. I know. Woo. The ECU students can do jazz. Yes. Well, and this is the <laughs> dance um, theater. Yeah. So they're actually doing um, uh, a stage performance uh, for us. Nice. Yeah. Nice. With, with the jazz band? Yeah, no, yeah. not the jazz. I don't think the jazz band will be oh, there okay. with them. It's okay. just the yeah. dance group. Okay. But yeah, we're connecting with them on many different levels. We're really yeah. excited about that. Yeah, smart. Yeah. <clears throat> we have a huge um, wildlife arts festival happening the 8th, 9th, and 10th. Um, and it starts out with the unveiling of the uh, 2019 duck stamp Mm -hmm. um, at the theater. Mm -hmm. Um, That's um, quite um, an event all over the state um, and the nation, really, where they unveil these duck stamps. And so this will be the 2019 duck stamp for North Carolina. Good. Um, Yeah, so people collect that. We're going to have Friday and Saturday events and exhibits and music all day long into the evening, a silent auction on Friday night. We'll have an outdoor vehicle, ATV, um, boat, watercraft, um, duck boat displays. Um, We've got demos of uh, retrievers outside. Um, We're going to have our own wood duck wandering around. Uh, Rachel's (laughs) going to be in a wood duck outfit. Kids crafts, uh, including uh, painting decoys and uh, kids crafts at the theater and the estuarium, so it's going to be need, a wonderful event. You need to get Woody event. from the Wood Ducks and Kinston. He wasn't available. Oh, he we was, tried. He tried. <laughs> yeah, and nobody can wear the outfit apparently under, unless oh, it's no, Woody it's under be there. Woody. Yeah. So what do you mean outfit? That's no outfit. Yeah. That's Woody. Oh, that's true. That's right. <laughs> yeah, he can't pluck his feather. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yes, yeah, so we've got lots of great things. So you can learn more at artsofthepamlico.org or call us at nine four six twenty five zero four. Awesome. You always have a lot of good things going on pushing the arts in the Washington Beaufort County area. We are trying. So uh, you got that great facility in the turnage. Yeah, so cross so, the line from yeah. Pitt County or wherever yeah. you live and come on down cuz we're yeah. right in downtown Washington. Lots of great restaurants. You got you have concerts activities. coming? You said something about concerts we coming? We do. Um, we have let's see. We've got oh, I've got to look at my list. We have so many things. The Interbanks Music Academy has a concert going on. We have Valentine's Date Night. We've got Ghost playing on the big screen. We have an art exhibit, uh, Bright Minds, which is funded by GlaxoSmithKline Foundation. That's about hunger, so it's a social mm-hmm. impact art exhibit. Mm-hmm. That's going to be on display for two weeks, and then it's going to be touring. What's um, your What's your website again? It's artsofthepamlico.org. Okay, artsofthepamlico.org to learn more. Thank you for driving over in the flakage. You're welcome. Thanks <laughs> Good to for see having you. Me. Thank you. Deborah Torrance from the Turnage Theater and Arts of the Pamlico in Washington. 16 in front of 9. We'll be right back. It's the Big Zero event at Greenville Toyota. Put zero down on new Toyotas. Corollas, $14,999 or $149 a month. Camrys, $19,999 or $169 a month at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. 
so people can schedule a chiropractor visit out here. Or catch the game live way over here. Isn't that what you pay for? A stronger signal in the middle of anywhere. Visit Real Wireless, your local U.S. cellular authorized agent in Ohoski, Williamston, and Windsor for the best deals in wireless and great service on a network that works in the middle of anywhere. Happy New Year from all of us here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. It's time for tremendous New Year savings on new Jeeps at the Start Something New event. Buy a new 2018 Jeep Cherokee and save up to $7,000. Or you can lease a new 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo for only $249 a month. Choose from Eastern North Carolina's largest selection of new Jeeps. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. That first cup of coffee, time with your family, and time to yourself. Good things happen early. When it comes to cancer care, the earlier the better. Early cancer screening and treatment can save your life and the lives of those you love. Believe in the power of early. Believe in the power of Vident Cancer Care. Talk to your doctor about screenings that are right for you. Don't miss the action when the Pirates take the court for a doubleheader on Saturday, February 3rd. The men's team will look to tame the Tigers of Memphis at 2 p.m., followed by the women who will tip off against the Mustangs of SMU at 5. Be among the loyal and bold by purchasing your tickets over the phone at 800-DIAL-ECU or online at ecupirates.com. Be sure to paint Minji's purple on Saturday the 3rd, starting at 2, to show your support for Pirate Basketball. We're starting the new year with zero down on every vehicle. It's Greenville Toyota's Big Zero event, where you put zero down and make zero first payment or get 0% financing for 60 months. Plus, get our advantage at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. Eight forty-seven. Welcome back. Thirteen in front of nine o'clock. Going to a high only forty-one, but it is going to be chilly because of the wind chill today, without a doubt. We're looking for a wind gusts as high as thirty miles per hour today, but the rain and uh, the flakage is finally moving out. And by afternoon hours, we should have sunshine, which is a good thing. Uh, Twelve minutes in front of uh, nine. McGee is going to have sports for us in a minute. McGee, we've talked a lot about. This uh, project in Rocky Mount that um, was originally going to be this huge project built by CSX. Triangle Business Journal this morning is reporting that uh, the Department of Transportation Secretary of North Carolina, Ch Jim Trogdon, is now saying that he is expecting CSX to move forward with some sort of a facility in Rocky Mount, but not of the uh, mammoth proportions that was originally reported. It will not be the intermodal terminal, uh, which was originally planned, which would have brought all those jobs to Rocky Mount. I'm sure this is uh, disappointing news to the people in Rocky Mount. But just what will CSX build in Rocky Mount? They're going to build something. The railroad company says they are reevaluating its intermodal strategy and backed away from similar projects for swapping containers between trains and trucks. But the Transportation Secretary, uh, Jim Trogdon, is saying because ours was a little unique, we were able to keep that project moving forward. What we're doing is taking our original concept and modifying it for CSX's new business model. Now, the question is, what does that mean? How many jobs will there be? And uh, what kind of economic impact will it have on Rocky Mountain and Eastern North Carolina? Rocky Mountain needs that project badly. And so... Everyone was so excited about it when it was announced. So, yeah, they were. You know, uh, when that guy, when 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 the the 
the lead guy, the head guy, died. Yeah, you know, that, CSX president. Yeah, that slowed some things it did, down. It a did change. It changed their strategy. Mm -hmm. So apparently, they weren't in um, total agreement in the company how they were going to handle right. it. Right. Uh, we're going to do sports here in a second. Before we do that, though, uh, a sports book in uh, New Orleans has included the odds of different things happening at the Super Bowl. You want to hear some of the stranger yeah. ones? Yeah, what you got? What color will Pink's hair be when she sings the national anthem? Blonde. White or blonde is the odds-on favorite, 5 to 4, or roughly 44%. Other options are pink or red, 7 to 4. You can bet on this online. Although, you know, pink, she tends to go out there sometimes, so who knows? Will pink be airborne at any point during the national anthem? <sighs> yes or no? No, I, I wouldn't put it past her. I mean, she likes to elevate herself. <laughs> so I don't know. She likes to go ele I'm saying she will because I think she, cause she can really sing while she's on those, uh, those trapeze things. Yeah. 80%, it's, a, it's one to four probability, so it's only 80% that she will not. Yeah, I'm going to say no. Although midair acrobatics is her thing, but during the national anthem, probably I mean, yeah, it's probably not the halftime yeah. show. The over or the over under on the number of tweets by President Trump on Super Bowl Sunday. What's the number? <laughs> Five. Uh, well, that depends on. That's the whole day, not just during the game. Oh, Super Bowl Sunday. Over. I'll go over. He'll he'll do more than I'll go over. He'll do more than that's five. That's the whole day. I'll go over. <laughs> I think you're right. What color will Bill Belichick's shirt be at kickoff? Gray. See, I've got another one. Will Bill Belichick shower before the Super Bowl? <laughs> will he have sleeves on his vest, <laughs> his sweat vest shirt? Uh, the odds on favorite is that Bill Belichick will be wearing blue. It's four to five. Yeah, they'll be in white. The team Gray will be in is white. next at three to two, followed by red and white, each at fifteen to two odds. Will Donovan McNabb's vomiting incident from Super Bowl Thirty Nine be mentioned during the TV broadcast? No. <laughs> uh, it's one to two odds that they will not mention it. Uh, will Justin Timberlake cover a Prince song during halftime? Hmm. Ooh. Good question. I'm going to say that's his vibe. It's his style. Yes. No has a better odds, one to three odds, that he will not sing a Prince song. And here's the biggie. The over-under on how many times wardrobe malfunction will be mentioned during the TV broadcast is 1.5. That seems low to me considering this is Justin Timberlake's first time back. Since the actual incident, uh, the actual Janet Jackson wardrobe malfunction in 2004, then again, the network and the NFL would probably uh, just assume that it doesn't come up, but uh, I promise you it's going to come up. Is it on NBC? Yes. Oh, yeah. Al Michaels will mention the wardrobe malfunction many times, and so will Chris Collinsworth. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll go with that. So there are some odds that you can bet on for the uh, – it's amazing what you can bet on. Yeah. Anything. For the uh, Super Bowl coming up on Sunday. All right, 853. What else is happening in sports? All right, college basketball from Monday night. Duke beat Notre Dame 88-66, number four Duke. That is, as the new rankings are out for this week. Uh, Gary Trent Jr. had 22 points to lead five Blue Devils in double-figure scoring on the night. Elsewhere, number seven, Kansas cruised by Kansas State 70 to 56. Speaking of the Super Bowl, Madden NFL 18 ran a simulation of this year's game between the Patriots and the Eagles and is predicting a Patriots win. Now, the simulation has picked a right winner 10 out of the last 14 seasons. This time, it came down to the last play, but the Patriots won 24 to 20. And former East Carolina baseball closer Joe Engel has joined the NC State uh, program and in NC State official confirmed this with uh, the Daily Reflectors. Ronnie Woodbread on Monday, the official said that Ingle joined the team and will sit out this uh, this season per NCAA transfer rules and is slated to be eligible. El uh, excuse me, eligible to pitch in Easy 2019. For you to say. The Wolfpack and the Pirates will play one time. So he transferred from season. ECU to NC State. That's sacrilegious, isn't it? Can't do that. I don't know if I'd call it a trans. Wait, yeah, but you know he was dismissed by, oh, oh, by right. Coach Gallo. No, no, he it's not really it wasn't a transfer. a transfer. That's right. He was dismissed. He was jettisoned. Jettison, that's a good word. Jettison is my favorite word now. Mm -hmm. I like that word. So the Wolfpack's picking up our jettisoned players, yes. is what you're saying. Yeah. That's, a good, that's a good get for them. You know, Engel, a lot of potential. There were some internal things going on with Joe Engel, which is why he was dismissed. Um, that's a good good pickup for the Wolfpack. 
You're right on that story. So you're I, you're all over that. I think I think it like is like white on rice. I mean, he was. He's what you were. You know. Yeah. All right, let's see what else we got. Uh, I want to mention a couple things again. Uh, again, the telephone number to call if you want to get more information about a booth in the Home and Living Expo. Easy to remember, 355-1037. I've had a couple of people actually uh, inquire since I've been on the air this morning. So uh, do call us if you'd like to be part of the home show this year. And uh, let me remind you again that the 2018 Heart Ball coming to Greenville on February 17th, there are still – uh, tickets available and room for you. And uh, again, I think about uh, the interview we had earlier this morning about Greg Smith, the uh, the, the great uh, icon from Newburn that passed away yesterday. And uh, all reports are that that was a heart attack that nobody expected. And so, uh, you know, a great loss for the Newburn community. But uh, again, it points out to us how important all this heart research going on at the Brody School of Medicine and Vitan Health is for our Eastern North Carolina families. And uh, when you come to the Heart Ball on February 17th, you're not only going to uh, have a great time at a great black tie affair, the event of the year, uh, but you're also going to be helping to uh, contribute to that research because uh, the American Heart Association gives back over a million dollars a year to this community for heart research because of all the great things going on at the Brody School of Medicine and Vitan Health. So do sign up if you'd like to be uh, involved in the in the heart ball. You want uh, a table or for your company or you'd like uh, you'd like a, uh, a couple of tickets. Uh, I am MC in that this year, so just contact me here at the Radio Ranch and I'll hook you up. Send me an email, henry at ibxmedia.com. All right, everybody, uh, enjoy the wind and the sunshine we're finally going to get this afternoon. We'll see you tomorrow. Happy New Year from all of us here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. It's time for tremendous New Year savings on new Jeeps at the Start Something New event. Buy a new 2018 Jeep Cherokee and save up to $7,000. Or you can lease a new 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo for only $249 a month. Choose from Eastern North Carolina's largest selection of new Jeeps. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. put towers where most others don't. So people can schedule a chiropractor visit out here. Or catch the game live way over here. Isn't that what you pay for? A stronger signal in the middle of anywhere. Visit Real Wireless, your local U.S. cellular authorized agent in Ohoski, Williamston, and Windsor for the best deals in wireless and great service on a network that works in the middle of anywhere. We're celebrating our second anniversary here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, and we're just so glad to be here in Washington. Washington is a very special place, and we really enjoy working here, serving people, making sure our customers get nothing but the best. Here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, we offer a great selection of new vehicles and the best buying experience anywhere. Come see all of us here at Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Drive a little to save a lot.
Don't miss the action when the Pirates take the court for a doubleheader on Saturday, February 3rd. The men's team will look to tame the Tigers of Memphis at 2 p.m., followed by the women who will tip off against the Mustangs of SMU at 5. Be among the loyal and bold by purchasing your tickets over the phone at 800-DIAL-ECU or online at ecupirates.com. Be sure to paint Minji's purple on Saturday the 3rd, starting at 2, to show your support for Pirate Basketball.